Imagine you have a sales report that you want to embed inside an email message, just like the one we see in front of us here. The report has eight pages, and they all got cropped, bordered, and embedded inside the email message with two line breaks separating them. Let's see how this can be done using Visual Cut. So here's the report. I'll refresh it, and we can see the eight pages. Notice that there's a lot of white space around the content that I need to get rid of. And in the Export Email tab, I selected an image export format, and the Options dialog for that format provides options for cropping, padding, adding a border, and specifying how images are going to be separated from each other inside email messages. Those defaults are controlled using an INI file entry called Image Export Options, but I can override them, and then I can copy to the Arguments area so that I get a different behavior, such as not cropping or not adding a border or changing the separator between the images. Within the email message itself, I'm not attaching anything. Instead, in the HTML editor for the message, notice that there's a new token, and that token can be simply inserted by double-clicking here. And that token populates itself immediately after the export with the list of all the image sources. Now, by default, when we preview, it will show only the first one. So if I preview here, you can see that it embedded the first resulting image. So if I click the Start Process button, what happens is that all eight images got generated, they got cropped, a border was added with a padding of three pixels, and the separation of two line breaks were added between the images. And that gave us the resulting email.